JetBlue earlier this year. Remember they announced that they're going to start flying transatlantic? And I think that's a really interesting one. Here's a stock that trades about, I don't know, eight times earnings are expected to grow earnings 20% plus next year on a sales growth of about 7%. That one seems kind of cheap with kind of, you know, I, I think a catalyst. You know, as we get into 2020, I think it'll be something that maybe analysts start thinking about a little bit too. That one seems really interesting to me. The airline index itself is up about 17%. Uh, that has all come since August, basically. So all of these look fairly good and they all look like they want to break out. If I had to pick one in the group, I, I'd probably just buy across the board. But Delta Airlines DAL is probably the one that I like the best for a breakout. I went for the laggard. I went for Spirit Airlines. Ticker symbol save. Stock is down still 32%. It's about 10% off the bottom. I'm long it. I think if the whole group starts to rally, the laggard's going to outperform. The leaders save is the name I'm playing. On November 13th, UBS initiated JetBlue with a buy. I think the only buy on the list with a $25 price target. Dan might be onto something. It's interesting. American Airlines would... Phil just mentioned trading at five and a half times next year. I mean, a ridiculous valuation. You mentioned uh, JetBlue at eight, Americans at five. So that's 62 and a half percent did that in my head. Anyway, the stock has made a series of lower lows and lower highs. Technically, it looks like a disaster. And UBS initiated that with a sell on a $27 price target. That stock, to me, despite the valuation, I think goes lower from no, here. It's amazing.